Hello, this is Jennifer Bailey, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about Template Toaster. Now, as you can see, I'm on the website for Template Toaster, and you might be wondering what it is. So, Template Toaster is basically a piece of software you can download to your computer to allow you to design your own themes for your website. So, as you can see, if I scroll down, Template Toaster can be used on WordPress, Magento, Joomla, HTML, Drupal, Blogger and PrestaShop. So if you're wanting to create a website on any of those platforms, you can use this software to do it. And it's really straightforward. Um, you, all you need to do is you download the software, you create your template and then you can export it or upload it to the platform of your choice. There's some really great features. So for example, it's responsive web design, which means that your website can be viewed on lots of different platforms, be it a, um, a mobile phone, a tablet or a computer. It's responsive. So basically it will look great on all those different devices. And it's really important in this day and age that um, your website looks good, whichever device someone's using to view it. It works on different browsers, as you can see. Social media integration is really easy. I've used WordPress before and trying to get your Facebook buttons to work and your Twitter links and everything can be very challenging. Within this platform, this software, it's really straightforward. It's a drag and drop website builder. For any of you who've ever used WordPress and tried to work in the interface there, it isn't drag and drops. You can't quickly redesign, say, putting your sidebar on the left instead of the right or moving your menu bar from under your header on top of it. Whereas in this software, you can just basically click of mouse, you can move it. So drag and drop. Also known as what you see is what you get interface. So you can basically design it before your eyes. Hundreds of fonts available. There are limitations usually when you use standard templates. In WordPress, for example, you are limited with the number of fonts you can pick. Same with um, colour schemes. Often if you buy a premium theme or a free theme, the, the developer of that theme may give you some choices for colours, but you may not be able to change everything. So obviously this is a very, very, um, a platform that gives you an awful lot of customizational choices. Right, you probably want to know how much it costs. So I'm just going to pop over to the purchase page and there are two editions to pick from. So you can choose the standard edition, which is $49 and the professional edition, which is $149. Now, obviously, what you want to do with your website will um, influence your choice on the one you have chosen. Personally, I have gone for the professional edition because in particular, it lets you have the start from scratch option, which I'll show you in a minute. There are loads of templates you can use as a starting point, but if you want to actually say, no, I know exactly how I want it to look, I want to design it using what I want to do as opposed to the starting point they've given you, then I would go for the start for scratch option, which means the pro edition. If you're someone who doesn't really want to fiddle about with that much customization and you just want um, a template out of the box, you can um, tweak a little bit, then you probably don't need that option. It's entirely up to you. There are other, as you can see from the ticks and the crosses, there are other, a um, lot more features available in the Pro Edition, but really you need to go and have a look at them and compare them to see which meets your needs the most. Okay, right, I'm going to now move over to the software just to show you an insight of how it works. So what I'm going to do is open up the software. So I'm just clicking on the icon on my desktop. And then the start screen offers you the choice of the platform you want to create the theme for. Now, as I've talked about WordPress many times, that is basically the website I use. So you have two options here. You have WordPress and WordPress with content. The top one, which just says WordPress, basically designs the first page of your website and the WordPress with content gives you multiple pages. So we'll choose the WordPress with um, out content. We'll just go for the main one for now. So you click on that one. Then you have a choice to start from scratch or to go with a sample template. Now you'll remember that I said the start from scratch option is not available in the standard edition, only the pro edition. So let's have a quick look at the templates. So as you can see, if you scroll down, there's quite a lot of templates to choose from. 
and it does reload templates as you go through and then what you can do is say for example you see one you like you can hover over and you can click demo which will preview it in your browser so there we go that's one of the themes there that's a very attractive theme in fact all of them are that I've looked at so if you wanted that theme or any of those templates there you would just click download and it would open that up within the software alternatively you can go for the start from scratch so let's try that next you're asked to choose what colors you want so you can either use the drop down arrow here and pick from one of the hundred themes so I can click on this one for example and it will change these um, colors or alternatively you can type you can click on the box and you can pick which color you want that way you can choose your font and as you can see there's lots of fonts to pick from font size line height etc when you're happy with your initial settings and you can change them you click the start button and this opens up the software now what I particularly like about this software is it looks very familiar it looks very similar to using something like Word or Excel a Microsoft Office product because of the way it has the ribbon across the top of the page so as you can see it's very easy to jump from general to body to page header and as you can see this yellow box goes round the section you're working on so menu it jumps and it highlights the menu so as it as you can see you know exactly which bit you're changing so sidebar content widget areas everything that you need for a wordpress site is here for you to change so let's just do something for an example so say for example you want to change the layout of your website you can come to layout and you can choose the type of layout you want and as you can see before your eyes the layout changes same with the sidebars where you want to have them in the header you can choose background so if you want to change the color as easy as that choosing where you want to have the header very very easy and there's so much I could go into on this software but I think it's better for you to go and play with it yourself um, and you can see how adaptable it is but once you've got your website that you're happy with all you need to do is go to file and then you can export it to your website when you click export you can choose to export it as a folder or a zip file which means if you've ever used WordPress before and you import a theme from your computer it usually is imported in a zip file and also I noticed that it is also WooCommerce compatible which means if you want to have a shop you can use this software with the WooCommerce plugin as well anyway I hope you've enjoyed this review please leave a comment below the video I've also put a link to the software below the video I'm Jennifer Bailey and thank you for watching